my name is Patty and welcome to my YouTube channel. I tend to post videos on cleaning, home decor, and life as a working mama. And today's video is going to be a cleaning product empties. Now I've done a couple cleaning product empties and empty videos on my channel before, so I can link them in the cards and put the playlist down below for you guys. And I just love doing empties videos because then you kind of get to see how I really like the product because I do grow hauls as well at other cleaning product hauls. And sometimes like the scents can be really good, but it's like, mm, do they really work? So I'm going to tell you little reviews on all of these empty products that I've gone through. Okay, I'm gonna tackle some of these bigger items on top and then I will get into the real nitty gritty because some of these things on top are like tried and true favorites. First thing, two things, they're just still white vinegar. I use them a lot in my laundry day videos. I have a lot of laundry day videos um, and I keep on forgetting to take loads out of the dryer. I'm trying to get better because I put up a cleaning schedule video and I just finished a week of it and I'm doing pretty good. So fingers crossed I won't be leaving my clothes in the laundry anymore and I won't have to add any more vinegar. I'm such a mess. So next product is another favorite, Pine Saw. Now it takes us a long time to go through this, but it's a favorite. I've literally never tried anything else on these floors. I just love it, love the scent. I think it does a great job cleaning them and I kind of just don't see the point of buying anything else. Like it's a classic. Another staple around here is this Ecos laundry detergent. It's like a free and clear laundry detergent. It's a huge bottle. It's like, what is it, 100, up to 120 loads. Now, I don't know if they mean like the smaller loads or the bigger loads, but either way, this lasts me a very long time. And it's like $10 at Walmart. So I know some people have said before, like they're a little weary about some natural laundry detergents because they're in such small containers. They don't have as many loads, but this is a great option for you. And it works great on Lowe's clothes. Like I've been using this for a really long time on her and she's never had a reaction to it. So I highly recommend it. Because these two are right on top, I'm gonna talk about them. Dapple stain remover. I love this. I've been trying other stain removers and I'm just not that big of a fan. I tried the Baby Yannix one and I'm like, uh, still a little iffy on it. Like maybe I just have to test it out a little bit more, but like nothing compares to this. And it's very hard to find. So can everybody just try buying it, like talking about it so they put it in more stores because like I wish I could just find it in Target. That would be so much easier than having to go to the baby store for it. I'm sure if you've watched other cleaning videos of mine, you'll know I cannot stand this product at all. To me, this smells horrible. This is the seventh generation disinfecting wipes. It says lemongrass citrus scent. I don't smell that at all. To me, it smells like pepper, like very just harsh. It's just, ugh. I cannot. It's, it, to me, it's just disgusting. Um, it's nice, like this is a 70 count. It took a long time to go through. And I mean, not because I didn't like the scent, like there's just a lot of wipes in here, but I will not be repurchasing them. Okay, this is another set of wipes from 7th Generation, but this is just their multi-purpose wipes and it's in the mint, garden mint scent. This smells really good. I have another bottle under my sink and I love the smell of this, but I'm probably just partial to mint smells because I love Miss Meyers mint and I'm loving the peppermint scent as well. What else do I have in mint? I know Method does a lot of their bathroom stuff in mint. Lo's actually in the TV room, so you'll probably hear her crying. But yeah, I'm just very like biased toward mint products. I love mint smells. I would definitely repurchase that wipe over their disinfecting wipe, and now here comes the plane. Speaking of Method bathroom products, this is the Method Daily Shower. But this is in the Ylang Ylang scent, and I actually really like this scent. It wasn't as harsh to me, I think, as the other. They only have this in two scents, and one's more of like a minty-ish scent. And um, I like this scent better. The only thing that I don't like is I can't find the bigger, like the refill bottle in this scent. I think they only have it in like the, the other scent. <laughs> I can't even remember what it's called. I tried this out once before and I was like a little undecided about it, but I think I wasn't as like religious using it. And I think something like this 
especially on like glass shower doors, like you gotta use like every time you take a shower, you gotta like spray it down. So it really is effective at like kind of keeping the soap scum down. Now obviously with glass shower doors, like you're gonna see every single spot. Like even sometimes after I wash them, I'm like, darn it, I missed a spot. Like it's really hard to keep those like pristine, pristine, but this helps out a lot. So I really liked this product. I'm glad I tried it out a second time. Let's dip into some Mrs. Myers, my favorite cult. <laughs> this is the Mrs. Myers multi-purpose spray in the mint. I was obsessed with this. Like I know I had been on this mission to try like other multi-purpose sprays. I like stopped using every other one when I was using this because the scent of this was just perfect. Like it's light, it's refreshing. I wish they had this all year round. I wish they had this in every like item they sell. Like this should be all year round because it smells amazing. So freaking good, except for the hand soap. Don't buy the hand soap in this. Well, you can't anymore because now it's like winter. But next spring, don't buy the hand soap. It doesn't smell the same. I'm gonna tackle these two because they're the same product, just different scent. And this is the Method Dish Soap. I love the Method Dish Soap. This pump is like game changing, game changing, especially if you don't have a dishwasher like us. We go through a lot of dish soap, regardless whether it's in like these small natural sizes or the big ones, like we have to wash all our dishes by hand. And having a pump really does help because like you have to keep on washing them and it's just like, oh my gosh, like tipping the bottle over, like I know like that sounds extra, but this just makes it so much easier. I love this. I tried the lime and sea salt, which I love their spray. And I also tried the lemon mint. I got the lemon mint because you can get this one in like the bigger like refill bottle. So that's why I picked this one up and I liked it. I wouldn't say it was my favorite scent, but it was still good. And I obviously love the lime and sea salt. <laughs> Let's just tackle two more dish soaps while we're at it. This is the J.R. Watkins dish soap and it's in the, I guess it's just lemon. Yeah, just as lemon scent. This scent was amazing. I know it's just lemon, but it was the best smelling lemon. Like, it just smells exactly like a lemon, which sounds ridiculous, but like, you know when you're smelling like the outside of lemon, like you really smell like the, the rind of it? It smells so good. I loved this one. I mean, it was amazing. I bought it on sale from Target, so like, I don't know if they still sell this. Like, this was a long time ago that I bought this. Like, I used this up a long time ago. And this one, I also, I wouldn't say I went through it, like, burned through it fast, but like, I went through it fast because even though I was like, dabbling in other dish soaps, this one, I just kept on going back to because of the scent. Like, it was so just clean and refreshing and like, that's what I want to smell in the kitchen. Okay, this is the seventh generation dish soap, and this one is the Clementine Zest and Lemongrass scent. This smelled good, and it still worked good, but I probably wouldn't pick up their dish soap again. I feel like theirs is very runny, and like I just burned through it way too fast, especially like when you go to pour it out, it was just like everywhere. So you just went through this super fast, which is unfortunate because this is probably one of the cheapest ones when it comes to natural dish soap, but I'm like, just because it's cheaper, like I'm burning through it faster than I would one of the other ones. So in the long run, it really isn't cheaper, you know? But it did smell really good and it worked really good. So if you are on a budget, maybe look into it because they do sell, I think, in bigger sizes too, which is nice because that's the one great I have about natural dish soaps in general is they're always in smaller bottles. Like, come on, I have to wash dishes every day. Or KJ has to wash dishes every day because he's awesome and does dishes for me. Okay, to round off the dish soap, <laughs> this is the Mrs. Myers in the apple cider. This is my favorite fall scent. Love it. Like I said before, and all the other dish soaps, like it works really well. The only grape I have is it's a pretty small bottle. And I wish they had the scent all year round. But this one is one that's mostly just should be a fall winter scent, but it smells so good. <sighs> Mrs. Myers, man, you just do it to me every time with these seasonal scents. Like, you just rake me in every time. Every time. Like, I know you're the more expensive one. And you're in the smaller bottle. 
but I'm still going to buy you. And I don't know why. <laughs> this is one product I am happy to be out of my house because it's not natural. And I have alternatives to this product that are natural that still work really good at cleaning the stove top. And this is the fantastic heavy duty lemon power. I, we bought this when we first moved into the house. So that was a long time ago. That's over two years ago. And I am so happy to see this go. I don't care that it works really good. I have like, I don't know, I guess I have a sensitive nose and I cannot do strong like chemical scents. Like that doesn't work for me. That's the whole reason I really got into like the natural cleaning products because I can't do the harsh scents. It's Especially in the bathroom. That is just a no for me. Like I'm literally like coughing to death. <laughs> so this is the Method Hand Soap. I really like this set. It's green tea and aloe. <gasps> oh man, it was so freaking good. I can still smell it. Like I love the smell of green tea and this almost smells like, I had like this Bath and Body Works like, is it ginger? And white tea or something it doesn't smell exactly like it but like that whole like tea scent is actually really good <sighs> I love it and I like the method um, what is it the foaming ones but I actually do go through these kind of fast like I think these are cheaper than the Mrs. Myers hand soaps but I feel like the Mrs. Myers hand soaps take me forever to go through. Like they last a really long time. Like they are a great buy. Ugh. I know you're not natural, but I still love you anyways. This is the back. <laughs> this is the Bath and Body. Oh. This is the Bath and Body Works Black Cherry Foaming Hand Soap. This will go down in history as. My favorite hand soap of all time, solely because of the scent. And I'm actually surprised at how long their foaming hand soaps last. You would think that you would go through it a lot faster than you do, because I bought their nourishing hand soaps, and I burned through those faster than I burned through their foaming hand soaps, which is a surprise to me. So I love these, but I try not to buy them because they're not natural. But I think my mother-in-law actually has a hand soap from them that is natural. I could be making this up, but they are coming out with more natural products. Let me know down in the comments because Black Friday is coming up and you know they always do sales. So let a girl know. I know this isn't a cleaning product, but I really love it and it's natural and I wanted to let you know about it. So I thought I'd put it at the end. This is the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime deodorant. I love the Schmitz deodorant. It works good for me. It doesn't make me smell like the Tom's deodorant. That's all I have to say. It only stinks that I go through them pretty fast. That's my only break. But other than that, it's really good. These are also pretty random, these last couple ones. I threw the seventh generation in here. These are the, what is it? It's just lavender? Yeah, or fresh lavender. Fresh lavender laundry sheets. I hated these. I also hate the method laundry sheets. Like I'm starting to think like I just don't like natural like laundry sheets. They just don't work. They're really weird. They feel weird. They're super small. They don't make the clothes smell any better. I just don't see the point in them. So I won't be picking those up again. I have from Grow the coconut scrubber sponges. <laughs> I saved this because I wanted to like give these a shout out. I really like these sponges. Like that's so random to be talking about a freaking sponge. But if you're already shopping on Grill, definitely pick these up. And I said it in, I forget which video. I said it before though. I think when I use natural sponges with the natural like dish soap, I think it lasts longer. I think I'm making that up but it's worth a try, okay? <laughs> and lastly, I have these Tide washing machine cleaners. So it comes in a three pack. My mom actually bought it for me. Thanks mom, even though you don't watch my videos. <laughs> and I think these do a great job at cleaning out your laundry machine. Now I saw, I watched a video, I can't even remember whose video it was or even like the measurements they use to clean out their washing machine, but they use like baking soda, right? Or is it baking powder? I forget. But anyways, they use the one that's in like the orange box. <laughs> 
they use that in their laundry machine to clean it out. And I really want to look up a recipe for that because that would obviously be cheaper and more efficient than buying these. But I really like these and I think I do a really good job. So I better end the video here because Lo is doing awesome in there, like watching Sophia and letting me film. Like I am so proud of her. Like, oh, my little girl's growing up. She's playing on her own without me. So anyways, <laughs> thank you for making it to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoy this cleaning products review slash empties. <laughs> I, like I said, I like doing these because you get to know like how I really feel about the products. And especially when I start talking about like specific reviews on products, like it's just really good to know like, hey, I've used these up. Here are my thoughts. Like, should you repurchase them? Should you not repurchase them? I love most of these products I do really like, but some of them are just, I know. <laughs> like those fabric sheets are a no in my book. So thank you for watching. If you would like me to film more cleaning product empties, give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you really like these types of videos and I'll film more in the future. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Bye.